This is the Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealer. One of the best ways I know of to ensure your weekend fishing success is to go out, spend a little time, and sink your own artificial or natural fish attractors in your favorite fishing lake. On today's show, we're going to talk about how and where to do that for your best chance of fishing success. Hi again, everybody. I'm Barry Stokes, and welcome in to Lake Fork, Texas, located out between Emory and Yanis, Alba, and Mineola, all those famous little towns around the lake. We were here just a few weeks ago catching some good sized largemouth bass in their spawning run in shallow water. Well, on today's show, we're going to take some spinning tackle and focus on crappie fishing. That's right, Lake Fork is also one of the best crappie lakes in our region. While we're out on the lake, we're going to be sending you around the region for your latest fishing reports from our team of reporters in the field from Louisiana to Oklahoma to Texas freshwater and down on the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast. Also this week on the Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week, we'll be sharing with you one of the hottest channel catfishing lakes in the region. And on Barry's Real Fishing, we'll show you the 500th Sherlunker bass over 13 pounds that was caught just this spring. We'll also have the big catch of the week and much more this week. So it's going to be an action packed and full half hour of fishing today. But right now, while we get the Nitro Z8 in the water, we take you back to the FSN studios. Heather has your Chevy weekend plan. According to the Salinar tables for the weekend, the best times for fishing will be right around sunrise and sunset. Peak hours on Saturday will start at 7.30 in the morning and again at eight o'clock in the evening. The sun will rise at 6.24 a.m. and set around 8.24 p.m. Evenings will feature a moon that is about 70% illuminated. This weekend marks the kickoff for National Safe Boating Week, so it's a good time to remind you to always put safety first when you're out on the water. Now let's get you back out to Barry. Thanks, Heather. We've made it out on the lake right now here at Lake Fork, and I want to show you, first of all, on the Lawrence Structure Scan System on my Lawrence HDS, what one of these man-made brush piles looks like. Look right here. You can see it clearly. It's sunk right on the bottom at about 22 feet of water. This is looking left. This is looking right. So that brush pile is out the right side of the screen. You can see it runs up to about 12 feet. There's the surface about 12 feet above the surface, 12 feet below, and there's the bottom, 22 feet deep. So the next thing I'll do is go back with a marker buoy Throw it right on top of that brush pile so I can fish vertically right above it. We'll try to catch a few crappie and give you a few tips and pointers on how to locate and go back and find again your own personal crappie fishing structure. And we'll get into your regional fishing reports from all around the four state region. Stay with us. We're coming right back at you. This is the Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealer. Right, right on that brush. Oh, come up here. All right, something to get it going. There is a Lake Fork crappie. Welcome back, everybody. Your Southwest Outdoors report rolls on today. Talking about brush piles today. And that crappie came off of a man-made brush pile that a couple of buddies of mine sunk out here. And I'm no, I won't give you the location. Sorry, that's not part of the deal. Uh, let's keep a few crappie today. How about that? One. Okay, let's talk first of all about where you want to locate the spot you want to choose for either your artificial fish attractor, like the one you buy at the sporting goods store and attach a lot of PVC pipes to, or natural brush. You just cut it, put a haydite block on it, and sink it yourself. Either one of those will work fine. The location is critical. Choose a very barren spot, a spot where your brush is the only thing that those crappie have to be attracted to in the whole area. Do not choose a big thick forest where there's already lots of brush around. Those fish will scatter. Choose your location carefully and sink it in deep enough water so it will be good all year long. Put it in at least 15 to 20 feet of water. Right now, here's Cajun Phil and Kevin in Louisiana with your fishing reports from there. There's a good red. Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here for your Fox Sports Louisiana Outdoor Report. I'm going to start off talking salt water this week. First of all, I want to let everybody know, Clayton, get in right here, there are a bunch of them. Everybody know I'm in the southwest corner of the lake on Calcasieu Lake, 
As of right now, our fishing is fantastic. We're catching lots of trout, lots of redfish, and we don't have any oil. But over around Venice, back over towards the other part of the state, they're fighting the oil spill. We just let everybody know, you know, we're praying for everybody on that end. But right now on Calcasieu Lake, fishing's fantastic. Only even down towards uh, New Iberia, fishing's good. Bass fishing, I talked to Joe Jocelyn up at Toledo Bend. Lots of bass getting caught. Spinner baits early in the morning, buzz baits, vegetation's coming up midday. They're throwing frogs and they're actually starting to flip some soft plastics and some jigs in about 10 to 12 feet of water. Really good bass action there. Calcasieu Lake saltwater, starting to get in that summertime pattern. Fishing's great. Tell you what, our number's on the screen. It's 337-540-5530. Give us a call. You just got questions about what's going on with the oil spill, what's going on with saltwater fishing, what's going on with freshwater fishing. Cajun Phil or Captain Kevin will give you the answer. We're going to see you next week. We're getting back. It has been another spring with a lot of big bass. This week on Barry's Real Fishing, we're featuring a report from Texas Parks and Wildlife highlighting some monster bass caught in the Lone Star State. This largemouth bass is worth $500 a pound. And at 13 pounds, that's a lot of cash. These big bass are called Toyota Sherlunkers, and Texas Parks and Wildlife has been breeding them for the last 24 years. To celebrate the program, the agency offered $500 a pound to whoever caught the 500th Sherlunker. We want to build some excitement around the 500th Lunker. The Sherlunker program brings in fish largemouth bass that are 13 pounds or larger into our fish hatcheries and there we use those fish and spawn them with other lunkers to help improve the genetics of our bass populations and to increase your odds of catching big fish in your future. The lucky angler made the catch of a lifetime at a recent fishing tournament on OHIV Reservoir near San Angelo. I never felt the bite. I, we were drifting again, the wind was blowing. After a few seconds, it started moving a little bit. I said, oh, this is a fish. And there wasn't much reeling. I mean, all you could do is just hold on it. It was a day of wishes come true. The tournament benefited the Make-A-Wish Foundation for children with life-threatening illnesses. The last two years alone, we've done $250,000 per year to make wishes come true for some very special kids. Today was a very special time for us that one of our fishermen could have his dream come true with a fish like this. Texas Parks and Wildlife transferred the fish to the Texas Freshwater Fishery Center in East Texas, where it will be used to spawn more big fish. This program is very, very significant to the state of Texas because it helps us improve the genetics of our bass population. There's no other one in the country like this. At, at first it was just a big fish and yeah, I was proud of it, but now I realize how big a lunker can be and so I'm excited. For Fox Sports Outdoors, this is Lydia Saldana reporting. Stay with us, Brian Hughes has the latest Texas freshwater fishing report and Bill Olson joins us from the Texas Gulf Coast. The CCA State of Texas Anglers Rodeo starts again this Memorial Day with over $1 million in prizes available. To be eligible for early bird prizes, anglers need to register by May 28. Visit their website for all of the details. Stay with us, we're coming right back. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealers, is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. By Navionics, we start where the road ends. By Whataburger, just like you like it. And by Mercury Outboards, number one on the water.